recording name of singer-songwriter Grant Davidson is celebrating the release of his debut album, Beauty Is So Common, this weekend at the West End Cultural Center. Grant joins us in studio to chat about the new album and his upcoming show. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your music. I know you've been doing this for a number of years, but uh, this is kind of the first actual Slow Leaves release. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the songs and the, and the lyrics and what inspires you. Uh, it's a tough question. You know, I, I guess I write pretty from a per, fairly personal perspective. So a lot of the stuff is just sort of about my life, things that I think about. Um, I get a lot of ideas from from books, from movies. Yeah. You just write it down and make it musical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I know that you collaborated with Rusty um, on yeah. the producer end of things for this album. You guys kind of have a cute little story about how you came together. Would you like to share it's it? Very cute. It's very cute. <laughs> Do you like that? I use the word cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to do something different with this album from my previous stuff, um, which was released under my own name. And I wanted to bring in a producer just to get a different take on this. And so, yeah, I didn't know Rusty. I'd heard uh, the first Ima uh, Imaginary Cities album, of course that's his band, and, uh, and I was really impressed by the production quality, so I sent him an email, I figured, hey, he's from Winnipeg, I'll just give it a shot, and we connected over that, and uh, you know, it worked out really well, we became really good friends, and yeah. Well, and I know, I mean, you have more of sort of a folk Americana sort of vibe to your music, and Rusty, I always think of as more pop rock, that sort yeah, of thing, yeah. um, what is it that you two each brought to the collaboration, collaboration process that made this work so well? Yeah, well, like I said, I wanted to bring in uh, a different take on it, and I thought he would be a good fit because, you know, I wanted to, I didn't want to make another sort of just a Roots record, Dusty Old Roots record, you know, I wanted to bring in a more modern sensibility and some of those pop inflections, and we sort of met halfway on that, and I, I thought it, you know, it worked out really great. I was really happy with the results. And you're playing with a big live band at the West End Cultural Center on Saturday. I've heard you perform in studio before, mm -hmm. usually by yourself, maybe with, a, with one other artist. Yeah. What's it going to be like to, to see the live show and, and to see you perform in that sort of setting? Uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for it. You know, uh, the album was made just Rusty and I we did all the instruments. And so, you know, I brought in a lot of people for this show and we've had some rehearsals. And uh, it just, it's, it's so satisfying for me to really hear all those parts coming together. Because like you said, I'm used to playing more stripped down mm -hmm. shows. And so I'm really excited about it. Uh, yeah, I got a big list of, of friends, including three backup vocalists, uh, Vanessa Cuisina, Jess Rayer, and Ariane Jean. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. Lots of familiar faces will be up on stage there from the local music scene for sure. Uh, Grant's going to play a song for us, a little bit more of a stripped down version here in the BT studio coming up in Sound and Words. Thanks so much for chatting with us, Grant. Thank you. Have a great